it's now the end of November 2022 and it's a very sunny day and all these solar panels here are taking in the maximum amount of power but it's a very sunny day it's an absolutely beautiful day and here is the sun uh, we can look at it with the camera without damaging our eyes and uh, there's absolutely loads of power but there's more power here than we're, a lot more power than we're actually using so i'm going to show you a way of actually trying to use the excess power that you get from solar panels because if you have a good solar array i mean i think ours probably generates about 1200 watts but on a day like this we have the washing going machine going on at the moment this is probably using about 400 watts on average and a couple of computers so we're generating a lot more power than we could possibly use and the batteries are full so what do we do so a great way of using your excess uh, electricity is to put it into hot water this is a 300 uh, liter water tank and let's just look at the temperature of the water oh. right now the water is 42 degrees which um that would give you a uh that would give you a shower with with not using much additional gas to heat the water up to a higher temperature so but it's good to get if you've got uh, several people here staying in the house it's good to get the temperature as high as possible but with only the sun we could probably at this time of year only get the temperature up to about 45 46 degrees so here you can see the pump the pump light that that means that the pump is on it's pumping water up through the solar panels in the house above but if we could get up to 65 that would provide absolutely loads of hot water for maybe five or six people to have uh, as long basically as long as hot showers as, as they liked but um we're using a system which detects when we have um, full batteries and then if it detects there are full batteries it dumps electricity into the hot water but I'll just show you what the see there we've got 28 degrees 28 okay the 28 volts but actually the system that 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 reads the voltage automatically and then sends it into into the ethernet so we can read it with a php module with a php program is is this little system here it's a little thing you can buy from czechoslovakia well, no sorry the czech republic and uh it will tell you you see that ethernet cable there that's taking that off and that is uh, that can be read from anywhere on the ethernet network like every second you can see what the voltage is so oh it's just switched on you see this you can, you can hear the sound from the inverter it's just switched on because it's checked that this is over 28 28 volts so we've got loads and loads of power then what it does it sends a signal to this um, it's called a Sonoff Mini and this is uh, this little device is provided by the company Sonoff, and it's possible to to flash it. It means that you can get rid of the um, Sonoff hardware and replace it with a little web server. So then you can send signals from a PHP program, um, which will switch on and switch off. Then you see two of these cables here um, are going to a heating element on the top of the hot water tank. Okay. Now, this is the heating element um, on the hot water tank. Uh, it's if you're lucky, you'll have 
one of these things already in your hot water tank but but I didn't and it was quite complicated because I had to get I had to drill a hole and then uh, get get uh, get a tube welded in actually I've got one here this is one what a heating element of a hot water tank normally looks like see these heating elements and then these the see that's very rusty goes down into the water so I had to buy a new one of these then cut it off and then weld it into the top of that one that took me ages so I'm really pleased we have uh, this one so as you can in the time that we've been speaking this the inverter has switched on on twice it's the the heating element at, which is 800 watts has taken when it's switched on has taken the voltage down to maybe 26 and then it switched off then the sun's come up brought it up to over 28 and switched on and at, at a high um a time of high uh of lots of sun this will just happen continuously but for example right now my washing machine is starting the spin cycle now that's going to use 600 watts so probably for a while um, the probably for a while the voltage is going to be down because the washing machine is using the power so for a what oh it's going up even even with a spin it's going up Oh, it's at 8.2. So even with the washing machine going, we'll probably still keep dumping power into hot water. Great. So here I'll show you a little bit more about the system. Um, Alexa, what temperature is the hot water tank? The hot water tank temperature is 45.4 degrees. Okay, and this is how it, how it works. Um, in in this like uh, device thing, there's a web server running on the local network, and I can make a PHP file, and it will it will run everything. And here's just a little bit of the bit of the coding that we use. Although this is a little bit expensive, one of these uh, Synology things, and you could actually do the same using an old smartphone, and you can get apps to run PHP. So you could, you could probably set this entire system up if you didn't have an expensive Synology um, device for maybe fifty or sixty euros. So there you go, Alexa. What's the temperature of the hot water tank? The hot water tank temperature is 53.6 degrees. 